Good morning, this is Zachary from Zachary Sweeps. I'm doing this gorgeous uh, stone open fire. Absolutely stunning. It's not original to the property, but um, it is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, the customer is telling me that he's having very difficult problems with it drawing too quickly. And um, I don't know if you're uh, aware of fireplaces, but instantly I can see why it is. I'm in a, in a room, obviously I can't show you um, for privacy reasons. I can show you the stove and um, look how gorgeous it is. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it'll be here for hundreds of years. It looks like it's come out of an old castle. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. But when you look at it, um, they've tried putting a glass at the top which is a great way of reducing the size of the opening. Uh, the, the great thing about that is that you don't have to raise the basket uh, raise the basket up. Personally, if I had this sort of start, uh, open fire, I would have put another, another slab going up, or maybe two, raised it up higher and removed the glass. Um, because obviously there's a gap inside um, for the smoke to come up. Because originally these wouldn't have been designed to have that but as you can see they they had a problem with it and um, they've eliminated the problem by doing that and it, it works fine but the problem that they have with it is that it draws too quickly and the reason why it draws too quickly because it the floor i can show you the floor it's, it's a wooden floor all the way through the house and as you can see on the doors there, 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 there's a gap at the bottom obviously which there has to be um, otherwise what will happen and um, they will scratch all this lovely flooring but what they need to do is they need to build the ash up underneath and you, as you can see from here the ash needs to be built up underneath the actual grate um, and the reason being is that uh, originally these fireplaces would never have had these these were specifically designed for coal uh, not this particular grate but the grates were design for car I've said this a lot um, through my videos and um, they would have been designed for great uh, for coal not great but designed for coal because coal needs air to go underneath it whereas originally they would have had the two dogs would have been original but they would have had the ash a bed in the middle and then these grates were designed afterwards to go on either side look we've got a little friend here to come to say hello I'm to check make sure I'm doing a good job and um, so basically what you need to do what I'm going to advise the customer is they need to build the ash up underneath so it's literally there will be no ash uh, no air uh, no gap underneath the actual grate and that will make a huge difference with this fire it will stop the air going underneath especially in a house as big as this one that I'm in at the moment it's got a beautiful uh, back piece to it but um, you, what's happening at the moment is when, when the fire is roaring away, of course it's drawing oxygen in the room through the, through the doors, even if the door is shut, because obviously it's coming through the gaps of the doors and it's just acting as a furn, furn, furnace, which is all the heat's going to be going straight up into the, the chimney. And if you actually see that fireplace, sometimes they come out a bit clearer, step out a little bit further. So that's what they need to do. If you've got one of these appliances and you've suffered from the same problem, you really need to let the ash build up. Don't panic about the mist because uh, you, if you've seen my previous videos, you can compress the ash down and then and then you can shape it. And then once it's compressed down, you won't have a problem. And then what you need to do is just get the shovel and you just shovel this area out here. And you don't have to have it the whole lot. I mean, I go to the house I did uh, yesterday uh, at the weekend, and they basically just have a, a, a three-inch ash bed going right the way across. They don't even have these these dogs on either side. They just have a three-inch ash bed from right, right the way across, and it works fantastic. You'll find that it'll, you'll be able to put a couple of logs on before you go to bed, and uh, and they'll be they'll be at hot ambers in the morning but if you if you empty the ash out like this all the time you're going to go through your wood like there's no tomorrow and you'll just be constantly loading up feeding up and all you'll be doing 
there'll be a little bit of heat in the room but you'll be filling up that chimney and all the heat will be going up in the chimney so it's such a simple easy solution to sort out all you got to do is fill the ash up underneath as I said it won't make a mess because obviously people don't like a mess and they don't like the ash going everywhere you can compress it down but you just got to bear with it for a few fires once you've bared with it for a few fires you'll find that it will press down and then you'll never have to worry about it again and just scoop it out of the actual uh, grate inside and then it'll be fine you can do the sides like that as well and it'll be fine and if you wanted to you could put a couple of bricks on one side and that side maybe a couple at the back and just fill that area up you don't have to fill the whole area up just this area so you can put one brick underneath there so you can't see it one brick there and two at the back and you won't see them and then and then all you've got to do is just push down on this and it gets that certain height and it'll, it'll press down and it'll go rock hard and you can go all right the way across like that and it'll make such a difference if you have this problem try it Give it a go that's all i say to people is give it a go and see how you get on and i'll just say hey, you're welcome have a great day from zachary from zachary sweets but just before i go just what a stunning absolutely stunning you'll see the, the picture of this at the beginning it's beautiful i'm so lucky with my job i get to see so many gorgeous fireplaces so many different ones that's why I love open fires more than wood burners. I know they're more heat efficient, but you just can't get away from the visual effect and the um, the opion opience of, an, of, a, of a fireplace like this. You, you know, you wouldn't want to put a wood burning stove in here, would you really? Some people would, but it's, it's down to, uh, I, I wouldn't say class, because I'm not a snob, but it's just down to choice. But I think this is stunning. Anyway. Hope that helps. Um, have a great day.